I spent the last 10 years of joys and disappointments looking for the best Czech dishes. And I think we finally got it. Wow, this is nice. Today, I'm showing you the top 10 national Czech dishes which you need to try. And I'm gonna be showing you all the way from number 10, which is gonna be incredibly good, to number one, which is the best of the best Czech dish, which every visitor and locals love. Starting with number 10, fried cheese. The cheese is made either from Adam or Gouda, and this is coated in breadcrumbs and it's served with french fries and tartar sauce. So I'm just cutting it, it's like really soft, surprisingly, in the middle. And you can see like this, like this stringy cheese, oh my goodness, look at that, look at that. What you do not expect is it's surprisingly light and it's gonna be warm, gooey and so tasty. Mmm, 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 wow, this is nice, it's like fried chicken but without the chewiness of the chicken but the softness of cheese. Think of it like a huge premium version of a mozzarella stick. Number 9, Pork Knuckle. This is a mouth-watering Czech dish which is featuring a tender, succulent, beer-marinated and slow-roasted meat that is juicy and full of the bone tender. The knuckle is typically seasoned in a blend of beer marinade, herbs and spices and it is served with a side of bread, horseradish, mustard. And this meal has earned its reputation as one of the best Czech dishes. It can weigh up to 1 kg. Some people may choose to eat it alone but it does get heavy due to the juicy fatty skin but nevertheless it's still delicious and I would recommend that you share with someone. Number 8. Liver Dumplings This is my favorite Czech soup of all time and it is a bit hard to find, you're not gonna come across it everywhere but when you do find it I recommend that you buy it and try it. The dish is made from chicken liver dumplings which are soaked in a beef broth and they come with some really thin noodles, some root vegetables and it's infused in garlic with various fresh herbs, for example parsley. This is an umami packed dish. After trying this, you may end up having at least 3 bowels because it is addictive. Number 7. Fried Rizek This is a staple which is found in the Czech Republic and also neighboring countries. It is fried chicken breast or pork steak which is coated in crispy fried breadcrumbs. However, not all fried dishes are made equal. Some boast incredible juiciness and the right crispiness. While it's other restaurants, they serve it super dry. So it's very important that you find a restaurant with good reviews. Number six, goulash with fluffy bread dumplings. A large number of people may argue that goulash should be in the top three of all dishes, but not all restaurants do it perfectly. This dish has some roots which are going back to Hungary, where you are served thinner soup with potatoes and carrots, but the Czech version is different as they make it more thick and meaty. Head over to the restaurant which is called Upin Kasu, which is found in the Prague city center for some slow cooked beer goulash in a thick red sauce and the most tender beef you ever get to eat. You can enjoy goulash with the fluffy white dumplings and a garnish of onions which adds some extra flavor complexity and the pickled chili pepper which adds a slight spicy sweetness to the dish. U Pinkasu serves one of the best goulashes I've tried in the Czech Republic. One thing to be careful of, certainly avoid the goulash which comes in the eatable bread bowl because that's generally so dry and it just sucks. And it's geared more towards tourists and locals don't really like it, I don't like it as well, so avoid that one. Number 5. Slebiceks there ain't no party like a Slebicek served party. This is a traditional Czech open faced sandwich which is sold at delis which are called lahutki. So it's a typical Czech party food. So normally you get it on Christmas day or New Year's day or when there's some kind of celebration and they buy it and then they display it and you just like nipple it throughout the day. So this is one of my Czech favorite dishes. This just like, it's differently. This one is with potato salad in between the ham and the bread. So it's like this creamy potato salad filling with a hint of onion and the ham. It's so good, it's so good. And it's also relatively cheap at 1.5 euro for each sandwich. As you are in the deli shop, certainly check out their interesting selection of Czech snacks which are mostly fried and also the food they're selling. Another interesting thing is they are also selling traditional Czech cakes which are at a good price. Number 4. St. Martin's Goose 
What is supposed to be a seasonal dish, which is served during St. Martin's Day in November, is so beloved by everyone that you can find it in most restaurants throughout the year. You know what? Even Czech Republic IKEA is selling this dish. This is a roasted goose or duck, which is served on a pickled cabbage. The cabbage is sweet and the dish is eaten with dumpling. Recently, we ate this dish in Prague's oldest restaurant, which is called Ufleku, and it was such an incredible experience which you need to try. But in Ufleku, they took the dish to the next level for meat lovers by adding other extra extras like ham and also some grilled sausage. Number 3 beef tartar. So this one is either gonna freak you out or once you try it you never go back. In a visit to Strauf Monastery, they have a restaurant there which they were serving beef tartar. Beef tartar is made from minced raw beef. It's typically seasoned with ingredients like salt, pepper, oyster sauce, ketchup, mustard, chopped onions, pickles and a raw egg which is used to hold it together. They were serving it with traditional Czech sourdough bread with some cumin beets and this was fried in oil. So you take the bread and then you smear the raw garlic on it and then you slap the beef mix on top. When you eat it, it doesn't really taste like raw beef, but it does have a sweet and savory meaty taste with some tangy notes from the pickles. It's really a rich and aromatic dish. Another place I recommend that you try this dish is Nashe Masor Butcher, which is located in the Prague Old Town. This place, they serve it great and it's so tasty. Number two, dumplings. Our recent travel video had us traveling to Kutna Hora. Make sure you check out that video in the corner. When we were there, we went to a restaurant where we had some stuffed dumplings like I never had before. The dumplings had some smoked meat inside and they sat on a pickled cabbage top. And this is a Czech classic and it's also a filling dish which is just incredible in flavor when it's done right. So what I love about this is in this particular dish, you can see the meat is super stuffed inside and it's just so divine and you can smell the smokiness which is coming out of it. Mm. This is one of the best dumplings and it's like a mixture of saltiness and also some sourness from the cabbage. It's really good. The combination of flavors is just so satisfying. Number one, ladies and gentlemen, so what we've all been waiting for, the joy and the pride of all of Czech Republic, and this is Svichkova. Svichkova is a dish which is consisting of beef sirloin with smoky chopped bacon bits inside the meat, and this is served in a creamy vegetable sauce. Svichkova is traditionally served with bread dumplings, and this is garnished with cranberry sauce, whipped cream, and also a lemon and this creates an unusual yet harmonious flavor of sweet, sour, and savory notes. Do you agree with this list of top 10 dishes in Czech Republic? If so, give us a like and also leave in the comments what is your favorite Czech dish. Some of the best restaurants we showed you in this video are found all over Prague. Watch this guide right here with tips on where you need to stay in Prague. We also show you some maps so you're not only close to the best restaurants and best food you're gonna find, but you're also close to some fun things to do in Prague. So don't waste your money and time by staying in boring and rubbish areas.